airclips.com. Hi guys, I'm Patrick from Airclips and today I welcome you to a very short but very interesting clip about something that seems to be related to a Boeing 727 aircraft. We are here in Denmark, right next to a highway, the E45, that goes all the way up between the north and the south. And this is where you find a terminal without an airport. Now, what is that? I think we need to have a look into it. Come join me. Here we are inside the terminal um, without the airport that I haven't seen at least and I already spotted one passenger and that passenger is Tom, right? Right. Yeah. Good to meet you, Tom. Welcome to Airclips. <laughs> <laughs> Little question, where are we? What is this? Where's the airport? Well, you're in the airport. This is 7 to 7 Communications and we are a marketing branding company um, working, with, um, working with different industries and we have created a um, reinvented ourselves and uh, and created um, a site like an airport like uh, built like a terminal you can see like below an airport uh, the building and the architecture here is more or less like like a real terminal and uh, we have an arrival and departure board right up here um, where air clips also is expected here at two o'clock so uh, <laughs> lovely we're on the board guys you're on the board <laughs> ready for departure super nice but yeah i mean these these air clips viewers you know they are picky they they want the real deal okay so um so you want guys, to see the airplane yeah and there's no airplane around here guys so i i guess we have to leave right no airplanes not happy we have an airplane you we, think so we do have a boeing 727 of course a boeing 727 who doesn't have a 727 in the backyard exactly that's what we do let's go see it okay let's have a look <laughs> Come see here around the corner, there's something looking like a 727, a Boeing, an old Boeing that we have in the backyard. Jesus Christ. So it's sitting in here, actually right on the freeway, the BCE 45, where like 60 plus 60,000 cars are passing every day. So it's a very good visual uh, point. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look inside. What's there? It's probably not what you would expect. Um, now I'm really, I didn't expect anything like a 727 here, so. <laughs> so this, wow. is, this is gate seven, and this is our showroom, more or less, you can say. It's a, Amazing. It's a 727 uh, that was actually delivered, manufactured and delivered in uh, October, uh, 31st, uh, 1974, and um, it has been operated by Central Australian Airlines, Danair here in Denmark, Sabre, Sun uh, Country, and Cougar Leasing, a leasing company. So actually, it flew in Denmark uh, back in time. I think that's a British company, Danair. Danair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, you know better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sharp on aviation. Pretending to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But it's great. Yeah. What a history. It's fun. Take a peek into the uh, Thank cockpit. You. Wow. It's immaculate. It's really. This is not what you would usually see uh, worn out in a museum or something. It's like. You want to start up the engines. And we are ready to start up <laughs> if, there, if there was engines here, because these are the original um, operations manuals. So we have a complete set of operation manuals. Some of you guys will probably recognize this. For sure. Yeah. It's kind of fun. And, Super. Uh, yeah. This will look familiar to some of you. Super. Yeah. So what did the Danish authorities say when you told them you want to park a 727 next to the highway? I'm not sure if in other countries uh, that would create a lot of enthusiasm. Well, uh, f first we needed approval from the local authorities and well, they didn't believe, really believe that we intended to plan an aircraft here. So we were kind of crazy, but uh, slowly they realized we were serious. And uh, basically uh, it was handled like, uh, like a building. So it is a little, um, this is a little suburb of Aarhus, the second largest city of, um, of uh, Denmark. And uh, yeah, they were very uh, cooperative and it wasn't a problem. So we got the permits uh, with the police and fire department and the, the officials at the city uh, uh, hall. So yeah, it worked. Super nice. Now guys, now. 
keep your breath. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So this is our lounge where we greet uh, people, welcome. And uh, also on Fridays, we have um, a bar with all our employees here and saying nice weekend to everybody. Uh, so we have a bar here. We used to have live fish. It was a fish tank before, but uh, during weekends and holidays, they suffered. So we uh, now just put up a poster there. But this is, yeah, more or less our showroom. Um, our lounge and here we have a conference room and an unusual conference room where we often have uh, clients uh, and management team, uh, teams coming for presentations and where we try to give them good advice on how to brand their businesses, how to grow their brands, increase awareness, uh, increase loyalty and so on. That's what we, uh, we are marketing, branding and communications agency. Um, However, we need an airline. <laughs> we need an airline. We don't have an airline on our account list, so that could be fun. But actually, the idea came from an agency uh, in London who actually uh, uh, advise and work for a lot of uh, airlines in, in the world. Um, so way back, we visited them in London and got the inspiration uh, for this concept, and then we just reinvented ourselves and decided we need a, an airplane. First we looked for a 727, then we realized it's not possible to transport a 727 uh, on land because the uh, tail is fa fairly uh, tall. So we uh, found this 727 in South End, south of London, and it was taken apart over there and moved here to Denmark by truck and it was shipped over from Harwich to Esbjerg and then trucked up here to uh, the middle of Jutland. And now it serves as a wonderful conference room where people find it funny to come and, and have good talks and, um, and develop their branding strategies with us. So if you want to get away from your laptop and your desk, uh, we can go here and uh, have peace and quiet and be creative together. Um, yeah, so that, that's an option um, that our creatives like to to uh, to utilize i would like to utilize that <laughs> option for sure uh, yeah so um ah this is just breathtaking and actually uh, one detail that mm. a couple of our viewers will be particularly interested in yes. is what i spotted down here now guys you wouldn't believe it it is complete we do have a safety card here <laughs> awesome not necessarily from a 727 but <laughs> it is a safety card we always brief our uh, visitors our guests and uh, give them some safety instructions and <laughs> after they can choose between chicken and beef for for lunch <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we have trays like you have in airlines and trolleys that serve the food so it's fairly authentic and these nice old seats were actually um, KLM, they were blue uh, oh. before, and there were business class seats um, from KLM that we had uh, repolstered and then added a little table here for laptops or for notes. And uh, sometimes we replace these with the brand and logos of our clients as, and the names that come visit us. So they find it fairly personalized, like when you fly first class. How nice, <laughs> how nice. I guess we can open here. <laughs> So yeah. you, you can't escape here if you have to, if there was a fire. So this is our fire escape and it's still working. Cool. So really we cool. we can yeah, put, put the ladder down. Can be lowered. Yes, we can lower and the ladder. And these restrooms here, are they actually in use? No, or? they're not in use. Oh, they're, yeah, there's okay. just a storage, storage room here. Room. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So basically it, it was uh, taken apart in London in Thousand. Um, and where we had the uh, engineers taking it apart, uh, among other things, we took all these cabins lockers here out and threw them out. That was a major mistake because we found out later on that they were actually a lot of money worth. <laughs> Whenever it has to do with aviation, as you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of valuable. So, uh, sure. And then we had it painted inside, had the panels taken off, had it painted inside and refurbished with new carpets and, in, and interior. And then it was transported to Den uh, after the paint job to Denmark okay. uh, by truck and, and boat. Cool. Yeah. Super cool. So. And that's the creative room. Yeah, I like that. That is the creative room. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, what you get here. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. This was. <laughs>
<laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> it feels surreal. For me, it was huge fun. Yeah. I didn't expect to see I'm, anything close no? to this. I'm happy you stopped by. Thank you very much, <laughs> guys. Of course, you know, it stands, as Tom said, right by the highway. And I've been rocketing up and down the highway 20 times. And I just came back from a filming project. I wouldn't tell you the airline, but it was great and Danish. Um, up in Aalborg and now, you know, I took the chance. There was absolutely no preparation uh, to this. I just dropped in spontaneously. Thank you very much for this huge hospitality, You're Tom. Very welcome. And thank you for the effort to, to keep um, a 727 in such an immaculate condition and honor. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. You're welcome. We do our best, you know, because it's our trademark, basically. So it has to look nice and, yeah. and look appealing. So it's kind of our image. And since we work with image building and branding, so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. guys, makes sense. If you ever want an aircraft to be designed from the inside or just generally you need communications, here you go. What's your website? 727.dk. 727.dk. Yeah. Down here you see it. Thank you very much, yeah. guys. Thank you very much, You're Tom. You're welcome. It was Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. <laughs>